Hello everyone, welcome to Award Exposure. Ted Kennedy's death does not justify national health care reform. The liberal media and top leading Democrats are trying to silence the protesters and get people to come over their side with feelings of contrition. Ralph G. Nees, the CEO of the Liberal National Coalition on Healthcare, says, You've heard of 1-1 for the Gipper, there's going to be an atmosphere of 1-1 for Teddy. Nancy Pelosi says Ted Kennedy's dream of quality health care for all Americans will be made real this year because of his leadership and inspiration. Al Gore says Ted would want nothing more than for his colleagues to continue his life's work and to make real his dream of quality health care for all Americans. Robert Burt says in his honor and as a tribute to his commitment to his ideas, let us stop the shouting and name calling and have a civilized debate on health care reform, which I hope when legislation has been signed into law will bear his name for his commitment to ensuring health care for every American. Senator Chris Dodd, a member of the Senate Health Education Labor Pensions Committee and filled in as the panel's point person while Kennedy was out, says he hopes that Kennedy's death will receive a spirit of bipartisanship. Yes, I know Ted Kennedy was a huge advocate of quality health care for all Americans, but what does this quality consist of? Nobody understands it as a whole, and his death does not justify such a nebulous plan to be produced. All we're getting is inconsistent fragments of information here and there, and nothing is clear. 